Welcome to the end of the world, and today we must survive in the release version of Surviving the Aftermath. Today we have been sponsored to build up our own city and see how far we can get in this post-apocalyptic world. Survive and thrive in a post-apocalyptic future. Resources are scarce, but opportunity calls. Build the ultimate disaster-proof colony, protect your colonists, and restore civilization to a devastated world. Surviving the Aftermath has been in early access for a while, and it is finally releasing. And a lot of things have been added to the game. You'll be building and managing a colony of survivors after a world-ending event, constructing more than 61 unique buildings, and handling resource collection, exploration, and security. But a lot of things are going to be getting in your way. Natural disasters, hostile creatures, hostile people, or just plain old starvation and thirst. Once you build up a little colony to survive, you build the main gate which opens your colony up to the world, so you can get out, but also other people are gonna try and get in. Some friendly, some less so, and you have a whole reputation to manage as well. To stay on the good side with other people's societies, and trading with them, and having diplomatic relations. Sometimes those diplomatic relations involve guns, and you have to defend the gate and fight off the invaders. But overall, surviving the aftermath has come a long way. It's gotten a lot better over the last year especially, with more content, more events, more story, more refinement, and all of that. So today we're going to be spending a little time checking out the gameplay, but if you'd like to check it out yourself, do click the link down in the description down below or in the pinned comment. That's a referral link. That takes you to the official website where you can get the game from whichever store that you prefer. Alright, now that you know what we're in for, let us encounter the release version of Surviving the Aftermath. Ah, okay. So now here we are in the game. Oh, a survival city builder releasing out into a full release. Let's go ahead and press on new game. The prologue. Modern civilization is gone. It fell apart in a time when rivaling superpowers fought over power and ideology. Too focused on themselves, no one noticed what was coming until it was too late. Skies rained down fire as thousands of comets and massive objects pummeled in the inner solar system. On Earth, cities were leveled and replaced by vast wastelands as nations vanished. The remaining factions waged decade-long wars over scraps until there were no armies left to command. Now, we are all that remains, looking for a new home looking for a way to start over in this age we call the aftermath. Let us begin. I will leave tutorials on, because I might have forgotten something since last time. Now, the difficulty here, we can go basically easy, easy medium, uh, difficult, ongoing apocalypse, perilous road ahead. You know, I think... I think we should stick to medium for, you know, maybe we should do, maybe we should do suffering can't be avoided. Let, let's, let's, let's go suffering can't be avoided. Catastrophes. Frequent catastrophes. You know what? We, we did medium mode last time. Let's see how hard this game can get. Push forward. The apocalypse never ends. Environment. The planet is a barren wasteland. Survivors. Scarce starting resources, few survivors, you know, that might actually uh, uh, make things a little bit too slow at the start. So let's go average starting resources, some survivors. We're not going all in Iron Man mega hard mode. But I want the world to be wrecked. Ideology. Uh, survival. Uh, uh, trust on basic survival skills. Aim for progress and technology. Take care of people and protect the people. Health and safety, large scale production, survival and efficiency. You know, I think we should trust on basic survival skills. 
Specialists. Okay, we've got plenty. This game does have specialists, which are special characters that you can send to go on to things. Uh, plenty is the, the default, I think. Uh, scavenger, fighter, scientist, scavenger, scout, scientist, scavenger, fighter. So we get to pick two here, right? We get to pick two. Oh, the Baron. Let's get the Baron in as a fighter. And then we probably want a scavenger to go find things. Do we want domino? I think fighter scavenger will be good. Raj. Scientist, scout, scavenger. Who's this? Nadia. Okay, so who else do we have? Not Fritz. We don't want... Well, I don't want two fighters. I suppose you, you could go two fighters and go out conquering the wasteland. You know, that that's actually something that we might want to do. We are playing hard mode. You know what? Let's go double fighter with Baron and Makeda and then see how far we can just kill things. <laughs> yeah, let's go double fighter. Let's see what happens. Okay, what colors do we have yet? Oh, they added more colors. Yes, thank you. A black flag. That's good. Uh, I think they added more colors since last time. I think they got more of these things as well. Uh, ooh, that's, that's kind of nice. A torch, a flame, fire. We could go fire. Or are we kings of the wasteland? We could be a Philosoraptor. Kings of the wasteland? This actually... I, I like this one. Let's go kings of the wasteland. Black and gold. Nice. Continue. Colony name. Of course we dwell in Dwellment. It is our home. Colony motto. Is there a randomize button? Endure and overcome, never conquered, always feared. Cats won't go quietly into the night. <laughs> uh, you know what? I know that's, that's, it's a strange moving forward while looking back means you walk into things, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Continue. So tutorials on challenge is hard. Basically, we're at 95% difficulty, which is almost 100%. I just went a little bit on... Uh, was this plentiful starting resources? I think I think that's fine. Yeah, that, that'll get us going a little bit quicker. Okay. Start game. Oh, here we go. Time to survive the aftermath. And I'm not sure how well I'm going to do. I've never actually played this game at quite such a high difficulty level. We've got a ruined environment. Uh, we've got constant catastrophes, so we should be seeing some of those pretty soon. But we gotta start from scraps. Oh, I did pick Barren Wasteland. Here we are, the beginning of the game. On the lookout for a new home, everyone starts somewhere. The world is in ruins. Things once considered mundane are hard to find, and habitable land is no exception. A settler has finally found a spot for a new colony. With a place to call home, it is time for a new beginning. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. I didn't know there was voice acting now. Build the campsite to mark the center of the new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area. So here we are. A settler. Build. Uh, campsite. So this is... Well, I don't know... I guess, yeah, these are all starting resources, so I guess we just start right here in the middle of all of this. Let's begin. Let's build up a campsite. I like I like this this starting with nothing. I like this starting with nothing. There's something. Is this this is our front gate? So this is where people are gonna come find us. Ooh. So now we gotta build things. Tents. Free placements too. Okay, we've gotten some some free starting stuff. Let's start with some. You know what? 
Let, let's, yeah. Let's start with the free stuff. We've got two tents. Uh, we've got a free placement for a stockpile, which we want for these things. Can I? Yeah, we'll, we'll put it right here in the middle of these three. That's sort of fertile land, so maybe I don't want to put it right there. Let's have it just there. Uh, yeah, slightly off to the side. Okay. Food storage. We have some berries around. Not a lot. Uh, there's a couple here. I guess we could... Yeah, do the food storage there and then we'll, we'll move it around. Positioning of things is actually very important. Water collector. Let's go ahead and get one of these down. Can I... There's a good spot for this. Can I have it here? I can have it here. But it's got more efficiency if I put it here, I think. 70... 79% there. Okay. People are waiting for a signal. Shoot a flare. There are survivors waiting for a signal from the settler. They are cold and hungry, yet willing to work, should the colony take care of them in return. They can be invited in right away or later, in case the settlement needs more time to prepare. You know what? Let's, uh, let's shoot the flare. Let's get people in. And here they come. Your first colonists have arrived. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. Okay. Here's all our people. Select a colonist. Here's Francis walking around. So, we gotta build more shelters. Uh, things should be going along. Collecting wood, yes. Collecting food, nice. Let's uh, build more shelters. Um, you know, I might want to start with... No, I, I think it's, it's fine. Uh, we just need to build more tents. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, one. Two. So we've got 11 colonists, so uh, 4, 8, 12, yep, that'll house everyone. Everyone get to working. There's a task to move any work area. It's fine. Yeah, I might want to de- uh, do I want to deconstruct the food storage and move it closer to the berries, or would that not be a good idea? Uh, using resources. The tutorial is pretty well explained. Uh, resources are the ingredients for everything in your colony. They can be used to construct buildings or refined into more advanced products. So we see all the resources right at the top. But uh, the way they, they give these goals, um, it pretty much tells you the appropriate way to play. Collecting some water there. Nice. <laughs> Flora. Okay, so we've begun our colony. Nothing uh, terrible has happened so far. We should be increasing our food production now that those houses are going down. Getting a fishing pier might be good. Food storage is here, so perhaps I can have the fishing pier over here. What's the uh, 82% efficiency if I place it right here? So that's going to go there. Nice. This tent, building in progress, so that will solve our homelessness problem. Six carriers right now. We could also get a trapper. But... Trappers sort of rely more on forested areas, and we don't really have a lot of forested areas. I mean, it's got to be, like, over here to be of any worth. 
There's a lot of toxic waste. Uh... Yeah, like, this is the most heavily forested area here, but... It's kind of far. I might, I might skip the trapper for now. Right? Uh, well, we do have Your command. the Baron uh -huh. and Makeda. So if we're attacked or anything like that, then we should be we should be pretty strong. This game does have a world map, by the way. Right? It's got these regions that we can explore. Here's us, Dwellment. There's a few things around here, but. To interact with the world, we gotta build up our main gate first, right? That allows us to go out, explore the world, but it also opens up our town to outsiders. Now start resource production. We can turn scrap into plastic. Uh, so let's uh, have this just placed right over here by this giant plastic pile. That makes sense. Fishing pier. It's a little short on plastic. Well, we still have enough plastic. So things should be okay. Okay. Nice. How do I... Can I... Demolish, decontaminate? No, it's fine. I'll leave the work area there. Task, assign workers. Do we have anywhere to assign workers to? Flora. Well, Flora's working there. That. <laughs> Just to make sure that works, yes. Wood depleted. One pile, two piles, gone. Wow, okay, we're going through the wood real quick. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Uh, are we short on food? Food? No, we, we have enough food for now. I assume we've got a, an amount of food stocked up here. Canned fruit, 35. Jerky, 30. Candy bars, 23. Only eight iodine pills, eight antibiotics, not a lot. 20 firewood. It's raining. Okay. Yeah, this is this is taking a while. I think we're gonna need to set up some roads. Right, so we're gonna have to hopefully. Just connect up our uh, spaces here. And I have a road go around our central area. And then connect this up like that. Okay. So that, that should get things roughly connected. Have things moving a little bit faster. This fishing pier has all the resources it needs. It's building up now. Great. Okay, we've got a production limit. So we want to be able to do a production limit. Like maintain 50, right? I, I don't think we need to stockpile more than 50 right now. We have 43, so we can collect a little bit. This wood stockpile is just grabbing everything. Food storage. How many berries are left? Quite a lot of berries. Quite a lot of berries. Oh, look at that. Road's coming along real quick. Nice. Fishing pier? Doesn't even have a roof. <laughs> but sure. Uh, we've only got four carriers right now, so I don't know if I want to be... Um, ...adding in more workers there. I feel like we should build up to opening up this gate as soon as possible. Everyone's getting the roads going. But that should... It should speed things along. Yeah, just focus on that first. There's a nice pile of wood right there. 
How much wood is left here? Three? Okay, we're gonna have to move this soon. There's more over there. Let's move this work area. We've got plenty of wood, so I think for now I will harvest the further away one since we it doesn't have to go so fast. Amelia, where are you? Oh, she's helping to build the, the road. Okay, no problem. People sleeping, okay. This road, I do actually want to... Go around like that. So we have space for a few more tents. Okay. And here's the basics. The basics of our... Starting colony. I think it's okay. I think it's nice. Okay. Now, exploring out into the world, we gotta remember, there's some, uh... There's some angry creatures out there. Which could pose a bit of a problem. Oh, there's all this pollution as well. Oh, look at this. What's this? Majestic deer? Hmm. You saw some mutant rats over here. There's one. Fierce mouse, it's called. I think, I think mutant rat is a bit more appropriate. Uh, pollution deposits. Open the pollution overlay. Uh, there they are. Pollution overlay. Okay, it's not so bad. Basically, avoid the purple. As long as we stay away from that, we should be fine. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Five carriers. I think we should focus on food production. Let's let's assign someone, one more person to, to that. The road's mostly done. Just this left side still to do. Okay. Uh, should we be setting up anything else? This takes wood. Medical tent. You know what? I always, this is a thing, I always fail to set up medicine in time. I'm going to build a medical tent right now. I'm going to do it right now. Burial pit? No, we're not going to need that. Burners. Heats up buildings during winter storms. Oh. Th this, is, this is new from last time, I think. Something's off with a shelter. Not everybody is equally skilled in the art of building, but one of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad at it. Right. His tent looks like it could collapse at any moment. Improve the tent. 30 wood. Yeah, we can afford it. Done. Plus 20 happiness. Is there anything else we should set up right now? Clean water storage? That seems important. I'll put it near the water collector here. Right, something like this. Okay. Uh, we'll probably be a little short on plastic, but yeah, we, we can get it. We can get it. Okay, so I'm gonna... Samuel, um, no. No worker's gonna work at the medical tent yet, but we're just gonna have it in case we need it. Build an outhouse. Oh, right. That seems important as well. Forgot about that. This might um, be a little polluting. So I'm going to put it further out here. Yeah, let's put an outhouse there. Away from the houses and stuff. It's, it's going to be a bit... Maybe it's a bit close to the water. Should be fine. What's it need? Wooden plastic. Okay. Let's go through the other things. Uh, lumber yard, logging camp. We'll probably want to set that up soon. Water well. Uh, we don't have a lot. Uh, we did pick 
barren wasteland. We could get something kind of decent over there, but... Campsite, the gate, scout tower. These simple scout towers scout their surroundings and remove the fog that covers the land. I see. So we could... Uh, ah, yes. We build them right out there and then we can see. Several construction zones are lacking resources, I think. Yeah, it's just plastic. Have we finished collecting this wood? No, wood's doing okay for now. But I think I need to, like, forest up this area here. Is this polluted? No. This this is fertile land right here. The berries? Oh, still plenty of berries. Ah, this needs to move to there. So we're starting to spend quite a bit of wood. A hundred and ninety wood for the gate. Hundred and seventy-five plastic. Right, I guess we... we should just... uncap. I guess... instead of uncapping, we, we should just set it to like 150, right? How much is in there? 371 okay so that 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 we, we got the plastic on hand uh i don't think we have the wood on hand unless we start harvesting from much further away now, see there's a bit of wood there but i think that's polluted yeah i don't want to send people there it's a bit of wood here I guess there is enough wood lying around. There's three here. Four here. So I guess we don't need to set up a forester quite yet. Production 11, consumption 11. Oh, I see. We're just breaking even on production to consumption. I should place a well here. Sixty. Ooh, I can get efficiency sixty nine. <laughs> so if I build a well right here, out in the forest, that's going to cost more wood and plastic. We'll get that eventually. Food seems to be... Well, it's production 6, consumption 9, but I think these berries don't count as production. But we're still relying on berries to make sure we don't starve. Okay. Got some... Something's going. I think I do want to build a road over to the well. I know, we cut down some trees for that. That'll, that'll bring things over to the well much quicker. And things from the well. That should allow us to start stockpiling uh, water. Because if a drought happens or something, someone's yelling inside a tent. What's going on? Suddenly, muffled cries for help start echoing from one of the shelters. Inside, a large hole has opened up in the ground, swallowing the poor colonist. Sure, we can afford 15 wood to build a makeshift ladder. Let, let's save them. Uneven ground. Keeps people happy. Overall happiness is eh, going up, actually. Poor shelter, luck agreement. <laughs> okay. Uh, no entertainment. Well, there's no demand for entertainment right now either, so. Uh, I'm going to prioritize this clean water storage because it's just one plastic 
short. Oh, there's some deer over there. Nice. Concrete ruin. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to build anything right now preemptively, though. Yeah. I think once our water is stockpiling, I can start focusing on the gate. Clean water storage, complete. Nice, building operational. We can start storing water. Uh, well, once we produce a bit more water anyway. Colonist Archie is injured. Okay. I think that means we get, um, who's working in there? Samuel? Yeah. Two constructions finished, great. The water well is just pending a builder. I like how it highlights the person who's gonna go do something. So you can see who's associated with the building. Because they just light up like that. Wood deposit depleted. Okay, so now we have to move this work area. To cover... Oh, hold on. There's some fierce... Yes. Let's get our specialists. We gotta kill these things first. So we got two fighters, so this should be easy. Water well construction complete. Okay, let's clear out these mutant rats. Anyone else? Anything else? Let's grab that one. But there's some meat here. Yes. Can we collect this meat? Okay. So let's send you guys back. I think if I wanted to, I could set this food collection to collect this, which I guess we should go grab. And then I can set this stockpile to go grab this wood here. That should keep our wood supply going for quite some time. Plastic starting to build up again, which is good. The well, I assume, yeah, building operational, great. Water production, eight. So you can see we've we've already stockpiled eight water. Great. Eight out of eight, great. Oh, great. So we'll grab the meat just so there's a little bit different... You know, uh, different... <laughs> well, it's classified as venison. <laughs> venison from the rat carcass. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. We'll call it that. We'll call it venison. No one will know the difference. Ah. Open the living being's overlay. Oh, I see. So we can see easily if there's things that might want to eat us. I guess I could use my specialist to go hunt all these majestic deer as well. Oh, right. All the research we need to do. There's quite a lot. There's quite a lot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll come back to researching. Uh, is anyone still injured? No? I can now take Doctor out of his work. Ooh, milestones. Increased population to 25 is the next milestone. 
I think we have to um, open the gate to get that going. Yeah, I guess that that's what we're doing next, right? It's gonna take a while to grab all the plastic, but... I guess what we do is we add another worker to the recycler. We don't have a lot of carriers, but... Is this person carrying water? No. But this is a child. How many children do we have? We have four children. All right. People are hungry, but we do have... Have we gathered all the meat? Not yet. Rat carcass depleted. Okay. All right. So... The resources we have are being dumped into the gate. What's going on here? Dirty? Personal hygiene? Do we have... I don't think we have any... Hygiene tech right now. Ah, people are just gonna be dirty, I think. We do have a little bit of money. 350 currency. Okay. Uh, plastic production is 18. We need like 10 times that to finish the gate. I guess... This is pretty much the fastest we can do. We're just gonna keep that going. Assigning this guy, yeah. Assigning a doctor means we are short one carrier. So we, we're just gonna leave the doctor slot empty. Yeah, insufficient construction materials for the gate, yeah. Um, we've delivered pretty much all the wood we've had into there. So it shouldn't take too long. Storage for water. I guess, yeah, there's 300 capacity for water storage in our campsite. So I guess I didn't need this clean water storage so early, but you know, just in case, we're gonna do that. Are the rat carcasses? Are oh, the rat carcasses are still there? So we'll stock up on some meat. That that should diversify our yeah fish, meat, berries. It's actually an okay okay um diet. Do tents cost more plastic? They do. So I really shouldn't build anything else until we get um, the gate open. Because we don't even have any more people to do things, right? I could build a lumber yard and logging camp. Turns wood into firewood. Essential for the winter. Well, it's only day four, so we should be okay. Someone's been stealing planks. Someone seems to have been stealing wood from the storage. A few colonists go to investigate. And after a bit of detective work, return with a group of rowdy children. One under each arm. So they used it to build a fort. If I tear the fort down, I get some more wood. But if I let them have the fort, then I lose the wood. You know what? 
we, we've had enough wood for the gate. You can keep your fort. Let the kids have their fun. Keeps keeps morale up. We don't need the wood. Look at that. We, we've got all the wood we need for the gate. 108 out of 175 plastic. We've got... Yeah, it should just be a little bit longer. We've depleted almost half of our plastic heat. Rat carcass depleted. There's one more to go. I guess I should start harvesting this berry. Oh, there's, there's more rat meat over there. There's two more rat carcasses. Okay. You know, harvesting the further away resources first when we have a surplus makes more sense than when things get dire we shift it to the closer ones. One forty-four. We've got nine plastic in storage. Okay, another rat carcass depleted. A heat wave. Intense and oppressive heat takes over the area as moisture evaporates. Colonists struggle to keep hydrated and cool while working. Lakes dry up and plants wither in the cracked soil. Colonists drink double the normal amount of water. Crop yields in on open fields suffer. Build and fill water storages while stockpiling food to survive. Colonists sweat, making hygiene harder to keep up. Okay. Uh, colonist Zoe is infected. I guess I should assign a doctor. I don't know how we could stockpile more water. Oh, does this clean water... Maybe I should move this clean water storage to somewhere that makes more sense. Yeah, let's demolish the clean water storage and instead build it... Like, real close between these two things. Set this to build next. Ah, but we're almost with the... Back in full strength? Okay. No one's sick anymore? We're almost done with the gate, actually. Just four more plastic on the gate. Catastrophes. Outhouses raise colonist immunity and medical tents heal various conditions. Okay, heat waves coming, so we don't need a burner. Outhouses... Help with hygiene, huh? Should I build another one? Let's have two outhouses. Because hygiene's gonna be struggling. The water collector, okay. Those rat carcasses done? No. Four more. Four more meat on that rat. We have enough plastic, I think. Yeah, clean water storage has the plastic it needs. This outhouse, we have 20, 35. Okay, so now I can take a worker off of the recycler to get another carrier. 
Yeah, this makes more sense. Distance between things is actually very important in this game. It affects efficiency quite a bit. Because things have to, you see, you know, be carried around. Food's still going up. So we have a good stockpile of food. There's berries, wood. Oh, there's a ton of plastic here. I'd want to move my... Do I want to move a recycler? Would it make it more sense if I move the whole recycler over? Rat carcass depleted. Okay. Now I'm going to move... This food gathering to... Oh, is that contaminated? It might be. Let's have a look. Yeah, that, that's contaminated. Let's not grab that one. Let's grab these berries. Heat wave. Oh, that one's kind of... Let's grab that one. A little bit of contamination. All right. All right. Heat wave is upon us. Fishery has been damaged. What? Colonists is being berated and pushed around by their neighbors. They fell asleep while working at the fishery and their little campfire got out of control. Well, put out the fire first. Uh, yeah, we, we, can, we can afford to lose some food. A small group is assigned to put out the fire. They managed to do so, but not before all the fish inside is burned to ash. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get this repaired. Heat wave is upon us. Uh, so the balance of water here, this does not show our stockpile. It shows our balance. So we had the, the, uh, this 300 stockpile here. Oh, the gate's going down. And the second outhouse. Okay. Damaged buildings are at the risk of catching fire and collapsing. Therefore, the sooner they're repaired, the better. Okay. Okay, it costs 10 plastic to just repair it like that. Okay. All right, things are even more wastelandy than before. Water production. is 19. Consumption is 22. So consumption jumped up. Consumption doubled, right? Because of the, uh, the drought. I should probably have a doctor in-house. Second outhouse complete. Patient slot. <laughs> in the post-apocalypse, when you go to the outhouse, you're considered a patient. Okay. After that, I think we begin preparing... I don't know, how much wood is still around here? It's starting to deplete. And we don't have a huge amount. Is this... I think that's safe to harvest. Oh, there's another pile there. Okay, okay. We, we still have enough wood to, to gather and pick up. It's fine. It's fine. Has this been repaired? Oh, no. It's currently being repaired. Okay. This drought making me thirsty. Congratulations! You've rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open, and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed, though. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters. 
and those who just want to see you destroyed. Arm the gate with colonists. Or keep some specialists close by to defend yourself from the inevitable raids. Okay. Reached a milestone. In the middle of this drought, we completed the gate. So now we've got to send a specialist out into the world map. Let's have a look. So we can send... Who who's stronger? What you need? Uh huh. Yep. How I think their help? stats are the head. same. Huh? There are survivors at the gate. The survivors at the gate. Oh look at this! Immediately, some people want to move in. What have you got? A ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. A scientist. Okay. Six adults, two children. And they have some supplies. Okay, yeah, accept. That boosts our population up, which means we are going to need to build... We can build some flowers and stuff. Okay, first houses. Houses, houses, houses. Tents. Let's get one, two... Can I fit another house here? I think so. Another row. We should just have lots of houses for when people want to do things. Water shortage. We've got 200 in storage. Explore your surroundings. Build a scout tower as well. We'll build those houses first. Get those out of the way. Uh, Entwerf is a new scientist we have. Uh, we can now have another person set on to gathering plastic, because we're going to need a lot of that. Food supplies are holding. Okay. Now. Uh, let, let me try remember how to do this. Makeda, send to world map. Off you go. Wood deposit depleted. Uh, okay, we got a couple more. Specialist ready for action. Makeda. Ready. Let us go around. Basic tools, basic clothing, science points. Okay, so I can send Makeda to this camping site. Okay. Also, Entwerf, you're a scientist. Uh-huh. Let's send you over to that science stuff. There he goes. Entwerf. Yeah, go check out that. And you know, I'm going to leave Baron at home. Because we might need to kill something. Minus 19 water. I think we need to really boost up, like have another water collector. Can I have one over here? Out of bounds. Now that's not a good spot there. Can't build things out there. 65% efficiency. 72%? That's actually okay. Let's have another water thing here. Okay. No one's homeless. Heat wave is still here. Uh, water storage. We're out of water. <laughs> okay, this is not good. Um, build next. This heat wave is lasting so long. Where should I build this scout tower? I guess I should just build it right out here.
and grab the Baron to come down here and kill that rat. Okay, open the tech tree. You've collected your first science points right from from here. 350. Okay, I'm gonna grab more. You're still collecting the basic clothing as well? Yeah. Okay. So we've got some science points. What do we want? Guardians. Upgrade guard posts. Defending the colony against hostile animals or humans. Guard posts. Nurses. Work slots. Medical training. Healing speed plus 20%. That's pretty good, but... Community water pipes allows transporting water to buildings via water towers. Building a working pipe system allows colony to take steps towards a more modern society. Hold on. Uh, production speed plus 25%. Part of our ideology. Hunting and fishing are some of those of uh -huh. building upgrades, skinning, hunting crews. Not sure if any of this really... Large drums. Water tower. The thing is, we just don't have enough water right now. Upscaled tent reduces happiness penalty. Okay, I think I go ahead and grab water pipes. Storage types build a warehouse. Researching water pipes. Wood deposits. Almost fully de uh, depleted there. Everyone's gonna start getting real thirsty soon. Ah, oh, that's so great. Come on, get this second water collector going. Hopefully it at least... Um, ...mitigates the problem. Yeah, six carriers. So we, we have some workers to spare. Wasteland Convoy. There are not many factions out there who were capable of using vehicle convoys to transport anything valuable across the wasteland. But those who are capable usually make sure that the convoys are well guarded and change their routes frequently. One of these convoys was spotted not too far away, and for some reason this time, they seem to be taking the same road as before. This could be our chance to get ahead of them to see if fortune favors the bold. You know what? Search for it. Oh, it's raining! Is the heat wave... Heat wave is still here. <laughs> Even though it's raining. It's just hot water raining down. You know, I guess I could throw down a... Is any of this polluted? Oh, there is pollution right there. Let's build. I guess I could just... I don't know, throw another well right here? This is now functioning. We're still not enough water, but we have another water collector down. Yeah, everyone's getting real thirsty. Are we actually gonna die? Their health starts going down. Build next.
Oh, uh, maybe I made this a bit too hard. <laughs> right, that scout tower is still being built. I forgot about that. Where's the uh -huh. Baron? Oh, he came back after killing the rat. Okay. Specialist ready for action. All done. Resources, 14 clothes. Found some currency as well. Great. Uh... Yes? Yeah, return to Colin. What was that? What is this electrical storm there? Roger. Now bring the stuff back. All cleaned up. 500 science. You return as well. Welcome home. Wow, this this heat wave is not letting up. Is the first catastrophe gonna wreck me? <laughs> so crazy. Okay, the wood depleted there. Let's move the work area. You know what? Let, let's let's just move the work area to back here. We don't need to be gathering any more wood right now. Just keep people close by. Is everyone gonna die? Everyone's gonna die, I think. We just don't have enough plastic. Well, we have a better way to distribute water. Uh, we don't- the problem is we don't have any water to distribute. And I could throw down another water collector here. I guess. This heat wave. The heat wave won't end! I know I, I've set it to constant catastrophe, but this is constant. I, sh I should have prepared more water earlier. I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna store up water. I, I didn't store up water. It, it didn't... didn't work. <laughs> I, I should have built a lot more water collectors, I think. There are not many factions out there who were capable of... Oh, using we're still looking for the convoy, right? Consumption 38. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the extra colonists. Maybe... No, I, I should have just built more water facilities much earlier. Well, as people die, people will drink less. So it should be a self-solving problem. I think, I think we'll be okay. Um... Yeah, heat is not the problem right now. Centralized repairs. Upgrade hunting cabin. This goes to survival skills, which is part of our ideology. I think I should research this and then get survival skills. Because that's just better for catching fish, plus 25%. It'll secure our, f our food supply, anyway. Did we get enough plastic to finish this well? Then this is gonna take 15 plastic as well. Okay. That's building next. This scout tower? No, finish, finish the well first. It just needs to be built Gale up. <laughs> Gale has died. Okay, well. Oh, look at look at water consumption going down. That that's well, look. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. We we just have too many colonists. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, Gale. Uh, that does mean we need to build a burial pit. Though. Forty plastic. Jeez. Okay. Well, we're still losing water. This 
well is being constructed. Okay. I mean, the constant catastrophes. Oh, Arthur died. died. Oh, okay. Two more died. All right. <laughs> Balance is now negative one. We've just got four bodies lying around. We had some spare people anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a problem that solves itself. No worries. Destroying the pit will cause unhappiness. So we want to make sure this is in a place where we're not going to be doing stuff. I think just having a burial pit over here is fine. Right? We're going to need to deal with the bodies. So this well is down and it's now producing more water. We're now producing more water than uh, we're losing. Archie says, ha, that was nothing. Four people died. No problem. So just as I solve the water crisis, the heat wave ends. Of course. Okay, so I think I will prioritize building the burial pit so we can deal with the bodies lying around. This scout tower is actually being constructed, so we're going to be able to see a little bit more out there. I'm going to send you back out to the world map. You know, sure. let's send... Your orders. And Dwarf as well. Oh, come on! Zoe says, I'm bleeding. Well, you got hit by a meteor, so that's kind of... Um, we just don't have enough plastic. Oops. But all the plastics... No, uh... Paul's building the burial pit. We need the plastic to build houses, uh, repair houses. Okay. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, this is, yeah, right. you, um, go right. collect those tools. Ready. You, you're a scientist. Go Can scout they? this stormy area. Find out what's there. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, we need, we need plastic. Um, We've made a new discovery. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, I can set them to repair while we have the resources. That takes five. Decon you know, we should decontaminate that while we're at it. Hostiles in your colony. What's up? All right, Baron. That's a lot. That's- oh, no. This guy's just scouting. Look at all those red dots. All right, Baron. Wait, you. Where are you? Your command? Cancel mission. Aborting mission. Come Go. back. Okay, let's... Is this gonna be attacked? Okay, I'm just gonna turn off this. This guy's almost dead. Riley, you have two hit points. All right. Um, Baron, shoot that one. Makeda, where are you? Rat beetle. Okay. One of my choices paying off. Okay, you're going for that one, Baron. You're going for this one. Did any of them make it into the colony? Your command. Let me check the living beings. I think this is the last one. Your command. Yes. Uh. 
Did one of them make it in? We won the battle. Okay. Oh. You know, I'm not sure if it's time to celebrate. We're not doing so well. You go back there. We're slowly trying to repair everything as well. Yes. Makeda, you're going back out to the world map. What you need? Is this edible stuff? <laughs> the cockroach meat from the small rat beetle carcass. You know what? I guess we're eating that for dinner. Sure. Colonist Debra is injured, okay. All cleaned up. Oh, he finished scouting there. There's some dangerous stuff. Is that the convoy? I don't know if I should send a scientist to do that job. So I'm gonna send the scientist to go grab this stuff. Yep. And Makeda, you're gonna go. That's a convoy, but it looks polluted. But you know what? We're gonna go have a look. See what's there. Okay. Plastic heap still going, right? Bodies still... Quite a lot. Uh, water storage is going way back up. Great. Let's... Resume construction of the burial pit because we still have all these bodies around Everyone is really injured Almost everyone suffered from the drought and lack of water now That needs to be decontaminated. I think that's actually starting to pollute We've made a new discovery. Oh, we don't have any wood. I'm not collecting wood. Uh, collect from those two. I think that's safe. Yeah. Okay, I got survival skills, which means I can probably take... Yeah, we have too much food right now. Let's take someone off of fishing. I can also take someone off of water collecting. A colonist mutated? Max. He mutated? Well, he's going into the medical tent. This is going to be working for quite some time. This burial pit is being built next. Uh, there's still quite a few dead people lying around. This scout tower, it's damaged, but... It's gonna scout all of that, which is not bad. It's up to this lake here. Uh, we gotta... the pollution's sort of really in the way. Just really trying it. Have we been collecting those... Bug carcasses. <laughs> Don't know if it's safe to eat this. That's fine, that's fine. Do I need another medical tent? I think it's fine. Uh, basic farming, so planting speed, ice fishing. Ooh, ice fishing. Wide appears. Communal eating line cooks. What? What's a... Uh... Okay. 
large drums. Building upgrade, crowded tent, crowded emergency shelter. Upscale tent reduces happiness penalty. I think that's kind of what we can go for. Research that, then cue that. Yeah. Okay. Small rat beetle carcass depleted. Okay, so we're gathering some of the, the bug meat. Is there any closer wood to collect that isn't polluted? Oh, there's this wooden ruin right here. Oh, I should be gathering this. I think it's... Yeah. Let's gather these two. There's a large wooden ruin and another wood pile right there. That, that should give us quite a lot of wood. Okay. A starting area, clear it out. So there's a hostile thing here, the dead rat. More science there, there's some medicine. Okay, I think I'm actually surprised we we survived so far. <laughs> you know, having not played this game for a while then coming back and they're like, okay, let, let's play the game. It's actually kind of hard. What is that? An enormous bear? Oh, a giant pollution thing. Yeah, things are pretty bad out there. Yeah, the mutated colonist is still being healed. Mm -hmm. Is everyone yes. healing up a bit? Mm -hmm. I think people are slowly regaining health. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. This guy's got 20 health. This guy's got- oh, this is the guy that went down to two health, he's now got six, okay. There's a mysterious wagon outside. Something unusual has been found in the forest surrounding the colony. A wagon is parked deep into the woods. The windows covered with tarp. There are footprints around the vehicle, but they can't be tracked. There could be something valuable inside. Well, we're finding a couple tools from the world map. So I think search the wagon but arm the colonists. The wagon is open just to reveal a stash of supplies inside next to two decomposing corpses. An illness must have struck them and taken them both. The goods are taken back to the colony for better use. Six tools, 20 plastic, great. That is exactly what we need right now. 20 plastic will get the burial pit done. Um, Wood is a little low. Uh, I can remove this person from working. Right. Water stockpile. We're at 800 out of 800. Uh -huh. If I take this person off of that, we actually break even on water. So none of the water collectors are working. It's all just well water maintaining our current balance. Storage is full. What's this? I can recruit a specialist in two days. Nice. Are you yes. ready to move? What do we have here? The Wasteland Convoy. Convoy of several trucks is stopped on the side of an old highway. Black smoke plumes out from the engines of the lead vehicle. This is most likely the reason for their behavior during this run. There are only three armed guards and a few more truck drivers arguing about something. Repair the vehicle for free? Should I try do the goodwill thing? Attack the convoy. No, I don't think we should attack a convoy. Repair the vehicle for a price? You know, repairing things for free seems a little naive right now. 
But then again, maybe, maybe the game will reward me if I do it for free. Let's try do it for free and see what happens. The specialist greets the convoy from a safe distance and unsurprisingly, the guards pull out their weapons against this newfound threat. After some explaining and convincing to aid with the repairs, the guards calm down a bit. A few sweaty moments later, the vehicle comes back to life and the guards start to look less alarmed than before. The drivers pull up their parts of their haul as a sign of gratitude before taking off. 20 medicine, 50 cans of fruit, 20 happiness. Quest complete. Nice. 50 canned fruit. Not gonna work. Yeah, bring it back when you can. Okay, we did get rewarded. 20 medicine, gonna be real handy. Supposed to build a warehouse right now. We just don't have enough wood. Scouted sixty eight per cent. Lots of scrap metal out there. We've reached a milestone. Reclaimed knowledge. New milestone. Defeat 10 hostile wild animals. I feel like we've... We should have killed 10 by now, right? Reclaimed knowledge. Oh, this gets us colony prestige, I see. We've done 3 out of 23. Find a society... Seed even trade a seed from a society. Trade 25 times with a society. Heal 50 colonists. Increase energy production going green. Clear all pollution deposits. Make it today. Complete the main quest. Oh, there is a main quest. I'm just sort of worried about. these bodies lying around. We've got enough plastic in the burial pit, now we just need the wood, which is technically being harvested by next to the burial pit, but I think it's got to be brought back first. Okay, that's fine. Oh. So that bear might be kind of bad news bear, but... Uh... Plastic, 47 left in there. We're harvesting. Yep, we've got... Basically bug meat. The rest of the plastic should come in and repair our tents. I clustered all the tents together and of course they got exactly bullseye hit by the meteors. Ugh. We're short 20 wood right now. Building the wood production things I think should be the next goal. Turns that into wood. Turns wood into firewood. So we need a lumber yard. Right, I can put a lumber yard right here. I'll set the work area to go chop that down. Okay, we just shot three wood. Okay, we have enough wood for the burial pit. Okay, that'll deal with the corpses. I should have just built a burial pit earlier. <laughs> you know, <laughs> should, should have just done it. Oh, there's another wooden ruins right there. Great, it's just this pollution. I worry if I... Have people running through this pollution, they're gonna get sick. Most of the houses are fixed. Uh, last one is being fixed now. Great. I should have built these off of the main road. It's kind of not great for them to, the outhouses, to be on the main road. 
Okay, burial pit is being constructed. All you... Done. 16 tools and some currency? Great. All right. You come back. Yes. You... Okay. Come back as well. Three deposits depleted. Oh, it's the, the bug meat, right. There's a bit more. We've made a new discovery. Upscaled tents. Nice. So we could now upgrade tents. Into something that will have a major happiness penalty. Must be heated during winter storms. But it doubles the colonist slots. So, good to have. But as an option. Not enough science points. I've only got 50. Guards are the backbones. Guards, healing speed. This is really good though. I can't afford it. Anything for 50 science? No. Okay. I'm out of science points. Come on, burial pit. Okay. Small rat carcass depleted. Okay. Let's move the work area back over to... That bush. Burial pit is down. Amelia is going to be dealing with those bodies. <laughs> she sounds excited. And now we're building this lumber yard. Plus 41 lumber to, to build it. So it better be worth it. Mm -hmm. Amelia. She, she's just humming. She, she's so happy. As she bags... <laughs> I just want you to picture Amelia here. Laughing and giggling. <laughs> she loves her job. She loves it. <laughs> just, just carrying old George there to the burial site. No problem. Off, off she goes. Bag it and bin it. Slots one out of 15. Lumber yard complete. Let's move the work area to work on all these trees here. That should be quite a lot of wood. We'll just have one person on it. Antonio. Theo was born? Someone was born? Reached a milestone. Oh, we're, we're now losing some water, so I gotta put someone back onto working on water. We've only got one carrier, though. Uh, with 81 plastic, I think I can take someone off of the plastic there. And I think I can get Samuel off of being the doctor. Because no one's particularly injured, they just have to kind of stay healthy. I can now repair the scout tower as well. Is this fully scouted? Oh, scouted 100%. Yes. So I can take Riley off. I guess we don't have to repair it, but... Shoot. Let's send you back out to the world map. You okay. can return, What's and up? you can go scout Roger. that region. We should scout the, the neighboring regions. Uh -huh. Okay. 
defense, the gate, 18%. We can upgrade it to a fortress gate, huh? Yep. Okay, Makeda. Uh, send you back out. We're also supposed to build... I've got a torch. And oh, no, there's enough fires going around. We can now build a warehouse. And oh, you can go Stop. scout that region. Oh, it looks like there was a city here. There might be one of those societies that we can find. Okay, the bodies are now being cleared up. Someone's at the gate. A hooded figure wants to talk to us. There they are. A man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat and burying his face inside a large hood. He remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives, but offers to join the colony and bring knowledge only few possess these days. He's constantly looking over his shoulder while talking and seems nervous overall. I bet someone's chasing him. But let's one, let, let him in, let him in. Plus one colonists. Wait, really? You're just gonna let me in? No one's ever done that. You should really be more careful. Despite his words, the lone wonder is impressed by the hospitality. He wanders around the colony for a while and then makes up his mind, offering to join. Plastic depleted. Let's move the work area over to those two. Underground plastic. Oh, there's like 8,000 in there. We need a plastic extractor. We're just collecting the surface ones, right? Okay. Ah, three out of 15 slots done. There's one more. Come on, Amelia. Oh, she's going to sleep first. She, I guess she's fine with Arthur, who gotta go fast. Not anymore, though. A proper petrol head with little regard to personal safety. Arthur. Arthur, why? Well... Yeah, he... Huh? Francis comes out and sees Arthur's body that's been there for like three days. <laughs> Still scouting. We could get more science from there. An observatory. It's just a mountain range there. It looks like there might be some stuff over here, like old towns, cities, maybe. Some there as well. These regions we're looking at. Ah, uh, there's... That could be something interesting. We have like a cursory glance at what's here. Some power lines. Okay. Oh, we're chopping down some trees. Wood should start stockpiling. Our warehouse, which cost 50 wood and 45 plastic, is going down. Great. We're gathering that berry slot there. We haven't even finished these initial two berry bushes. We've got plenty of roach meat. Still venison uh lots of fish some berries okay that seems quite good yeah food supply is really kind of developed it's nice five carriers okay nice is this the final body being put away arthur being laid to rest there we go so those who died of thirst, we can now forget them. You two have finished scouting? Mission complete. Okay, that seems kind of dangerous. The dead rats. There's some medicine. You know, you go grab that. You're still scouting? Okay. We're gonna need a fighter. I guess I can send the Baron out to the world map. You know, pair up our fighters and go fight some 
bandits, right? That makes sense, right? How may I help? Evenly matched. 15x. Okay, we're we've got more chance of killing that. So let's Moving. have the Baron move down that way. We don't have anyone defending home base right now, which is kind of bad. Pathfinder statue. Oh, no construction resources required for this. We're gonna build some tall green trees. Let's, let's... Do some decorations. Yeah, this is gonna look great. Build like one more. There. That's what I want. So we've surrounded the houses with some nice trees. Gives them something nicer to look at. These trees I planted right into this old road. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Resources seem to be stabilizing. Now I just want to go kill some dead rats. Uh, not not the mutant rats. Uh, I mean, these guys here. Once this finishes scouting, Makeda and Baron should be able to team up and fight those guys. Yeah, we st we st uh, thank because we helped the that convoy. We got a ton of medicine. Twenty five medicine. Oh, this burial pit is already leaking contamination? Wow, okay. Let's not have someone work there. Unless there's a body to collect, you know? Just focus on that wooden ruins right there. Okay, I think think things are good, right? We've got max water supply, um, water storage rather. If a drought hits or another heat wave, we do have two more water collectors to activate. Food is stockpiled quite well with a good diversity of things to eat. Plastic and wood have gathered up. We can recruit a new specialist. How much? Oh, it's expensive. 700 cash or we do 400 cash and 60 food? Porter, a scientist. You know what? Sure. Thanks for the payment. You won't regret this. So we've got Porter in. Not the best specialist to have right now, but... Mission complete. Ooh, candy bars. Rippers. Can't do that. I think... I think we can't team up. But we could... I think we will win both of these. So if I send Let's Makeda play. here... And the Baron to go attack this. Going in. Yep. I think we'll win that. What's up? 
Yeah, this, this is like an ongoing thing, so we have to make sure. It's gonna be like a day and a half before we actually get a result, but... I assume scientists still have attack damage, right? So yeah, Porter can do some basic defense while our fighters are off conquering the world. We have bandits at the gate. Bandits at the gate? Really? What's up? Desperate times. These people have clearly been through a lot. Give a lot of food, give a little food. We got nothing for you. You know what? I can actually spare the food. Let's give a lot of food. The travelers don't seem to believe their eyes as the food is carried out to them. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's not much, but please take this. Hands over 300 silver. Okay. I was worried we'd have to fight them off. Bandit raid. Yeah. Got it. But it's okay. Our fighters are off conquering the world, so I'm not in a position to, to handle a bandit raid right now. Oh. I mainly just want to clear out these bandits that are near me right now. Because I, I don't like their presence around here. I want my scientists to be able to go around and we don't have any scavengers, but... Of course a bandit raid happens when... When our fighters are out, but... Well, the trees really do make the place look a lot nicer, don't you think? That looks good. Okay. The money helps, though. I don't know if... If you defeat the bandits, you get to loot their bodies. But then again, they could do quite a lot of damage to us, right? Probably wouldn't be worth it at this point. A colonist mutated. That means... Dr. Amelia, who used to work at the burial pit. I don't know why these kids keep mutating. We're still winning this, right? I think we're still winning this. All right. She's not ready yet. It's fine. That bear is scary, though. Don't think I want to fight that bear. Specialist ready for action. Makeda. There we go. Rippers, the dead rats. These are two different gangs. The dead rats and rippers. Weak thugs. Weak ban- Oh, thugs and bandits are different. The dead rats are bandits. Baron's taken some damage, but yeah, we're winning. Okay, cool. These wooden ruins have given us a lot, huh? Oh, I forgot my scientist. He should be... Is he still gathering things? Oh, he's still grabbing the antibiotics, right? Oh, he's taking damage. I didn't realize there was hazard here. Entwolf is taking some damage. Okay. I guess the antibiotics will be worth it. It's fine. It's fine. I should probably, in preparation, build another medical tent. Because I do remember when some disasters really start hitting. You need to really start healing things up. Because it's just two people. Two patient slots per medical tent. So when like a plague hits or disease, then that's really bad. Okay. 
clearing off these trees. We don't need someone working there right now. But in preparation. Don't think there's... I mean, I don't know if winter's gonna be a problem. Oh, I didn't I didn't build things to plan for. For winter. Like, I didn't leave a, a spot for a burner. <laughs> but I guess... Okay, just a couple meteors came crashing down. I think it was just our recycler that took a hit. Yeah, let's let's have a burner here, just in case. Specialists are dominating. Specialists are dominating. Great. They're all gonna die. I don't know if I have to leave this scout tower here to have this. I think I can demolish it. Battle has been won. Perfect. We won the battle. Bandits have been defeated. You can okay. then grab the tools. We there's antibiotics there, so we don't need that. You just start grabbing Negative. that. Oh, wait, no, you're a scientist. You go grab those candy bars. Oh, there's science there as well. I didn't even see it. Shoot. You know, you can stop Aborting mission. grabbing that. Sure just bring those back, because we got to start grabbing that science. Ah, oh, ah, oh, okay. So I think, I think that's pretty much settling things down. Okay, we, we did. Yeah, we can take down the scout tower. Okay. I mean, how big is this map? Okay, so th this is one edge of the map here. That's the main entrance. It goes quite far. Oh, it goes, oh, it goes way further to the back. I see, I see. Don't zoom out that far. So, we're only like halfway through the map, actually, in terms of exploration. There's all of that. Yeah, th th this, this is kind of halfway through. So this burner, it should be idle in case I'm just building it in preparation. If things get cold for some reason, suddenly. Ah, uh, but okay. I think I think that's where things. Yeah, th this this is the established colony. Ooh, ooh, it it got a little close there. It got a little close there, but we have survived our first few disasters. Things didn't go too bad. Four people died due to thirst because, you know, constant catastrophes apparently is true to its word. It's it's pretty constant catastrophe. There we go. A little town doing well. Fed some bandits at the gates. Got some new colonists. There might be some more story things going on. Clearing out the bandits and gangs out on the main map here. Scouted a little bit. Gathering resources. All's good to go. So there we go. That That's the beginning, first part, of surviving the aftermath. Again, thank you so much uh, to Paradox for sponsoring uh, this video. The game feels very solid. Like, in the past, through early access, there were a couple bugs here and there, but no problem so far. Everything's been, been working quite well. So yeah, surviving the aftermath, releasing out into the wild, well, into the wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's playing pretty well. So if you'd like to check that out, click the link down in the description down below or in the pinned comment. Just click that link, check out the game. Surviving the Aftermath, quite a lot of people like it. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.